While there was a sense of disappointment as the Bulldogs walked off the floor of Madison Square Garden following that 75-60 loss to Penn State, there's also a sense of looking ahead, anticipation, because even though the season came to an end Tuesday night in New York City, the beginning is just here now for this Mississippi State team. Everyone is coming back for next season. Plus, you add Reggie Perry and Robert Woodard and a great recruiting class. There is only one way to go but up for this team. Yes, year three in the Ben Howland system typically yields maybe more results, maybe a, a deeper run in the NCAA tournament. But 25 wins is still something to be very proud about, and making it to the semifinals in the NIT is pretty exceptional when you run through wins at Baylor and at Louisville. But Tuesday night, it just never seemed to click for the Bulldogs. Penn State had it working on both ends of the floor. Shep Garner couldn't miss from the perimeter, and Tony Carr was unstoppable. It just never seemed like MSU got their footing in this game. Penn State's played in this arena plenty of times over the last two years, and they never seemed to be, they didn't seem to be phased by the environment. They also had the home crowd to their advantage. But for MSU, it was just the rhythm never seemed to happen. The Bulldogs just never seemed to come out of that early hole. We were really impatient. Once we started falling behind, we got anxious. We were shooting quick, bad shots, and it just like snowballed. And uh, you know, we we didn't have the ball moving at all in the first half, from side to side. It was just uh, you know, and I thought that the icing the screens may have bothered us a little bit. But you know, we we had turnovers. I mean, we had a lot of self-inflicted turnovers in transition, for example. So. Uh, we got sped up playing too fast and uh, not being, uh, you know, uh, under control. We didn't get too many stops in the first half. We were giving up open threes. And, um, created them. They also made some shots that we weren't. You know, they were a pretty good three-point shooting team, so we weren't getting in transition, which wasn't helping us on offense, and we were missing some shots that we normally make. We came out really flat tonight, you know. Um, and those guys been in this gym five or six times already, and they came in with a lot of confidence, and they played well. They played well tonight. And um, obviously, yeah, we, we came out flat, and it kind of took us a while to find our rhythm. So it kind of, well, basically, that's why it ended the way it ended. So now the attention quickly turns to 2018-19. I got a chance to be in the locker room, as you saw with Mississippi State. There weren't really very many somber attitudes. No one was really upset. No one was shedding tears because everyone on this team is coming back for next year that played significant minutes. Plus, you add a talented recruiting class with Reggie Perry and Robert Woodard. The expectations are going to be through the roof for 2018-19. That means more pressure on the Bulldogs for next season. They don't seem to mind the pressure. They seem to, to cherish and relish the, the situation and the position that they are in as they have all sorts of fun and excitement planned for next season. Even though, you know, it wasn't the outcome that we wanted, we feel like we had a, a good year. We got the experience, the garden in New York. And um, we, we had to step up from, from the last five years, you know. And um, we're just trying to bring it back to where it used to be. Obviously, we're not happy that we lost, that we lost, but um, we're we're so we're ready to keep changing and turn this program around and looking forward for the future. You know, so um, we we don't take this as an L. We take this as a learning experience and get ready for next year. This will be a growing experience that will help this team as we return a lot of these kids uh, for next year. And I think they are excited. I think they they really like each other and love each other and play for one another and. That's why it's so frustrating that we're finishing the season feeling this hollow about how we played because we've played so much better here, uh, especially the latter half of our season, uh, you know, after starting two and five in the conference. And I feel really good about these kids and, and where we're headed. Eric Holman's quote really sort of signifies this team. Even though they, they take the loss, they're not looking at it that way. They're going to build from this experience and they're going to be better next year because of it. So you can guarantee that. 25 and 12 is the final overall record this year for Mississippi State. That's the most wins in a season since that 2003 2004 team that won the SEC and went to the NCAA tournament. Year four of the Ben Hallen program and era, it's going to be pretty interesting and fascinating to watch with the team they had coming back, the talent that's coming in. Mississippi State is going to have expectations through the roof. For next season, and this team is already ready to get back to Starkville and get back to work 
as they prepare for 2018-19. So that wraps up our coverage from here in New York City. I'm ready to jump into a card, head over to Columbus, Ohio for the Women's Final Four. We hope you've enjoyed all of our coverage from here in Manhattan and at Madison Square Garden. For one final time, reporting here in New York City, Robbie Donahoe for WCBI Sports.